Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Should I say bonjour? I'm in the south of France and I am recording on my phone so the sound and picture may be a little bit different but I thought I might vlog my week with you. Um, I arrived last night so today is Friday and I'm so mixed up on the days. I arrived last night and we just went out and had some dinner. I'll pop a little picture in of that. I got, I got a I absolutely love aubergine or eggplant, I think, as you would call it in America. Um, I absolutely love it. So I got that on a pizza that was the thinnest base. Um, I know I'm gluten-free, but yeah. And Naira got um, parmesan, I think. But it was lovely. It's so quaint here. We're in Antibes in the south of France. I've just been to the market. Um, so we're going to eat in tonight. We're going to make some pasta so the market is just around the corner just fresh every day not cheap but fresh and beautiful Um, i'll pop a little video in i just did a whiz around i'll see what that's like and um, if it's okay i'll pop that in and um, i got some herbs absolutely gorgeous just dried herbs but they just smell incredible i don't know why what am i wearing today this is an old make i'll pop the best picture in i could get today so i made this two years ago and it is the um Friday Pattern Company Saguaro set top, but it's the two back hack that I did where I, t I load the neckline. So I cut the back out and then I cut it out again and load the neckline. Um, if you go, if you do want to see it, there's a, um, a blog on their website. Um, go back a couple of years, you'll spot it there. Um, it's just easy breezy. It's very long. I've got the wide drapey sleeves. It's just perfect. It's going to be about 23 today. I'm going to go just out for a general walk today. She said there are so many beautiful little places to see. And that's more my bag, to be honest. So I think we're going to go there. Uh, the earrings I've got in, I actually made them. So these are, God, maybe 10 years since I made these. They still in silver. So I made them out of silver clay, little flowers. don't know how well you can see them. So I've got to wear sterling silver. They're really cute. I don't make anything like that anymore. But yeah, I just have. Don't you have like Holly de jewellery that you just pull out because it's so quaint and lovely. Anyway, I'm going to have some fresh raspberries. No, some fresh strawberries and blueberries, a black coffee. And then I'm going to go out for a little walk. So um, I'll try and get some footage where I can. But I'm just here to chill. I feel relaxed already, which is just what I needed so I will catch up with you really soon good morning everybody it is Saturday I hope your week is going really well we're off to Cannes today so looking forward to that obviously never been to this part of the world before um, and I think it'll be really beautiful there so I'll drop some pictures in later and I'll let you know tomorrow what we've got up to so have a lovely day Hi, it's Sunday. Cannes was lovely. I'm really pleased that we went for a look there. It was extremely busy though. Um, it was Saturday, so I guess that's possibly why. But just lovely. We wandered around lots of the windy streets um, and then walked along the front past the port and the, um, the beach and, and everything. Just had a really nice wander around, lovely lunch pop a picture in and um, yeah just a really nice day out so I think today we're just spending the day in Antibes and I'm gonna go for a walk and um, maybe just find somewhere quiet to sit and have a read might chill at the beach later I don't know but yeah just looking forward to another lovely day I've got a me made on today this is um, a shirt dress there's lots of patterns for these around this was the one from the Sewn Bee Modern Wardrobe book a couple of years ago and um, it's in a viscose that I got in a Saw Hayley Jane box maybe two years ago and um, just nice kind of to catch a little bit of sun but not too much I'm all all creamed up though and um, so whatever you're doing I hope you're having a lovely day with lots of sewing I'll catch up with you later Hi everyone, so today's Monday, I'm um, looking forward to a lovely last day here. As you can see, I'm wearing this ready to wear dress again. Um, it's just perfect. I made a couple of copies of it last year and I love them. Um, so Anaira's off, um, she's just gone somewhere else by train um, and we'll meet up together later. Hopefully we're gonna, well, I'm gonna go to the beach, hopefully she'll be back in time to join me. I'm gonna go for a walk around the um, port in Antibes and then go to the beach i think just have a general wander around sort of a day it's my last day and um, i'll be sad when i go home but you've got to go home to go somewhere else is what i always say 
So um, I will catch up with you later. Bye for now. Hi, so it's Thursday. I travelled back on Tuesday and I don't think I took any footage of our last day, but we did have a lovely last day and we went out for a gorgeous dinner. I don't even think we took any photographs that night either, just some nice bit of time together. Um, yesterday I had an appointment and stuff, so I did, I've just not got any sun done since I got got back. Um, I've had a few things going on. I've done a little bit of self-care today. I've been doing my nails. I'll just show you those. I'm just learning a few tricks and techniques. So I thought I would give you a little tour of my sewing room. It's just going to be a gander around the room. I'm not going to kind of open every drawer and tell you what's in there because I'll be perfectly honest. I haven't found everything yet. Um, it's work in progress. My um, baby locker claim, my new machine, um, I broke, I think it was something like eight needles the first weekend I got it which was really unusual I've never had anything like that with any of my other machines and I'd had a chat I think I might have said a few weeks ago with Elizabeth the David Drummonds and she'd sort of said check how your thread's coming off on needle, needle one on your overlocker and some different things and it was okay when I did my swimwear and then just before I went away um, it did the same sort of thing it broke five needles one morning anyway um, I spoke to David who was brilliant as always and he sent it off to Baby Lock. He just said it's really unusual for there to be a problem with a Baby Lock and you know the machine so we're not messing around. Let's get it sent straight off. So that just came back today and the needle plate had shifted and um, the guy, I can't remember his name, the guy at Baby Lock had said he thinks it might have shifted when it was transported to us um, but for whatever reason so um, I'm pleased to say it was just something simple like that obviously it's all been looked at it's all been checked over there was meters of various overlocking different things four thread three thread rolled hem and things they've obviously give it a really good check over so um, I think tomorrow might be a bit of a sun day I'm going to go out for a walk at the coast tomorrow that's Friday and um, probably do a bit of sewing so, are you ready for a little tour? I thought I'd give you a little look around. It's not quite like MTV Cribs, but you'll know, you'll know exactly what I mean. So, um, I'm gonna stop recording now. Let's give you a little tour and I'll catch up with you later. Okay, so the main thing that you can see that's different is one of the things I wanted to achieve in this room was having a AO cutting area again. So I'll kind of talk you through everything we've used there's only one thing which I'll explain that I've bought and everything else I already had. So this big set of drawers here is um, the Malum drawers from Ikea. It's an old set. It was under my cutting desk in the other room and next to it's a set of Alex drawers that were at Carl's mum's from when I had the sewing studio. I already had the AO table, table mat. The table that I had it on at the studio was bigger than this. And I just felt like it really dominated this room. So Carl basically asked me how long I wanted it and chopped a lump off the end of it. So that is fixed onto there. And at some point, I'm exploring at the moment um, projector files for cutting out. Can't have a ceiling mounted projector because the distance from the ceiling to the mat isn't long enough. But I could have a, I think it's called a short throw. I can't remember the exact word, but I know what it is. One of the Epsom ones. But that I'm probably a couple of months away from, from exploring that. Um, I'm still working out where I want things to go. So I've got some bunting I'd like to go along this back wall here. Um, I used to have the tracks from Ikea, the kitchen tracks with the different baskets and things in. So I've just got the plastic baskets. I'll show you in here for now. Sorry if my footage is a bit rubbish. Um, so obviously I can just move these as I need to. So I'm still finishing off where I'm going to put some of those things. I didn't have room for an iron or, an, well, I did have room for an iron, but a very small sort of little pressing area. So I've got room in here. You can see the iron board's moved up from upstairs. Um, so I've got plenty of space as I come in the door, either straight along here, or once I've finished cutting out, the iron board fits quite nicely along here as well. So that's this area here, um, working really well. And I've got some spotlights on there if I need a bit of extra lighting as well. Um, I had, you'll remember, normally I do my vlogging with the bookcases behind me. So I had these two Calax units, which we've fixed one to the other one, um, and just moved everything through. I think there's only my books that aren't through 
Um, now, like my Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple, my Fibre Mood books. So basically all the fabric has shifted over. I've not put it up as high. Um, it was opposite the window. I've not had any fabric that's been damaged by the sun, but this is a little bit to one side here and I've not put it up so high just to try and help um, prevent that as well. Um, it's, it's fabrics, isn't it? So that's, this is my stash. There isn't any other stashy bits. So I've got that row there and then these two little cubbies there. The baskets are things like um, a scrap jersey and things like that and I want to have a sort through them because I think I've probably got a bit too much and um, things that I've got planned are in that bottom one just there sorry I hope you're not getting like mortar you know when things are moving around too much um, I've got one of my um, what do you call it needlework boxes I was going to call it can't remember what you call it you'll know what I mean um, my daughter's plants which I'm trying to keep alive and I've managed to get my vintage sewing machine up there and that's um, the memory bearer I made it's my daughter's of my dad and the dicky bow is the one that he wore on her prom picture that he spontaneously just went out and put his trousers and shirt and his dicky bow tie on so that's her memory bear mine looks very similar just with a different dicky bow on he didn't always wear a dicky bow he just liked to dress up at christmas and things okay let's get to the nitty gritty i'm just gonna move this chair okay so that's a good opportunity to take it in so this corner is exactly the same corner as i had in the other room um, I did have a MacBook Mini or Mac something in the corner of the other room that I used to use for vlogging and editing and I don't use that anymore so I've removed that. So on the left you can see my new Euphoria cover stitch machine and then I've got my FAF which is the 6, I'm trying to remember the number, 640, oh sorry it's focusing on my finger, which is combined um, machine and embroidery machine and then I've got the acclaim on the right that I mentioned earlier and as you can see two sets of Alex drawers plenty of room room there I do usually have them covered up I've just took the covers off to show you guys um, the cutting area that I showed you earlier the embroidery unit just lives under there it's in a pillowcase to stop getting dust on and things at the moment and then it's quite pleasant I mean it's a a rainy day in Newcastle today but it's quite pleasant to look out the window and have that bit of light and then to my left this is the thing that I've just bought you can see my mess underneath it and this is the small Meikle desk or Michael desk from Ikea so this mirror here is the one that I had in the other room which I recently got and I do put it on for extra light when I'm vlogging but you can do different you tap it for different lights for putting your hair and makeup and I've been doing my nails there this afternoon so the drawer is full of all my nail stuff and the basket at the bottom and then and um, this is where I now do my hair my makeup and um, it's just my little area. It's a long time since I've had my own dressing table and things. So I'm quite enjoying having that bit of space as as well. And that's me. Hello. Um, and that's the room. Nothing exciting, is it really, folks? But it's my little home. It's the biggest room that I've had. Um, we are turning the other room into a bedroom as well, like back into a bedroom. But this is my little domain. What do you think? I've got my patterns there. I've got more space than I could have wanted. The main things I wanted to get out of this room weren't extra storage space, I had enough of that, but were the cutting table, which I just love having this, and the iron and board as well for pressing. So I'm absolutely over the moon with it. Um, just in case anybody asks, this is just my little bag that I now take to sew tune and social sewing sessions. It's one of two that I bought from Jewelry Maker when I worked for them as a, a guest designer on their jewelry channel. Um, and I've just freshened them up and um, use that now as a little sort of caddy to take around. That's it. All right. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're getting lots of lovely sewing done. Um, I hope you have a great week and I will be back with some normal content next week. But obviously this has been a little bit different. I hope you've enjoyed spending the week with me. Um, I always enjoy spending my week with you. And as always, let me know what you're up to in the comments. So take care and bye for now.